Yo, what's up guys? Cuban here, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to launch RetroArch ROMs straight from Steam without having to open up RetroArch whatsoever. So let's get on with it, shall we? So first things first, obviously, let's go to where it says games, add a non-Steam game to my library, and if it doesn't pop up, click browse, and just click on the EXE of RetroArch, and you should add it. Sweet. Now once you have it added, it should appear on your list right now. And as you can see, when you press play, <clears throat> when you press play, it doesn't take us to the game we want, obviously. But while we're here, let me show you how to remove that banner. You know how when the game starts and it shows you that banner in RetroArch, as you can see right here, I'm displaying it for you. Sweet, yeah. Let's take that off because that's an eyesore. And we want this to look as close to as an official Steam game as possible. So go to settings user interface go where it says on-screen notifications and where it says on-screen notifications click on it to disable it now it should say off that's it you're good with that you're good you're done you can quit it perfect now to continue with what you guys came here for once you have retro arc in your seam library you can right click and hit properties the only little field we're going to be working with right here is target. We're not going to be working with starting or launch options. So don't worry about that. So once you're in target at the end right here, add a space, add a dash, the letter L capitalized and add another space and leave it just like that for now. Don't close it. Don't do anything. Just leave it like that. Now the next step. Now we're going to need only two things from here. Easy. Two things, two paths. The first path is the core we're using for the the specified game you want. So go where you have RetroArch installed and go to the cores folder. Since I am using and I'm going to play a Nintendo 64 ROM, I'm going to be using Mupin 64 Plus core. So find the whichever core you're going to be using for this game. And once you find it, you can right click and copy as path. Perfect. Now we got one of our paths. And once you have it, you can go right here, right after the space you added, and paste that path right there. Perfect. Now, once you did that, add another space and make sure to add that space. And let's go back to our retro arc folder or go to wherever you have your ROMs installed and or saved. I just so happen to have my ROMs saved in the retro arc folder and literally a folder called ROMs. So once you find the ROM you want and make sure it's compatible with the core you chose, I'm going to be, and once you find that, you can right click on it just like we did with the core and you can copy its path. Perfect. Voila. Go back to your target, go all the way towards the end, make sure right after the space as well, paste it. Now you're good to go. When you press play, I'll take you straight to Bomberman 64 or whichever game you decided to install. Easy, simple, straightforward, and very fucking clutch if you ask me. But yeah, guys. That's it for that tutorial. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a comment below. Uh, I'll appreciate that a lot. And yeah, uh, thank you guys, man. Peace out.